size does matter. I have to take off this jacket. It's so hot. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, hello. I love superheroes because the first movie that I watch is Superman 2 of Christopher Reeve. So I dream to become this superhero someday. I was 16 when I had my first contact lenses, secondhand, so I don't know who is the owner, just my friend gave to me as my birthday present. That is also the time that I start to use the makeup to change from Herbert Chavez to this superhero guy. I start collecting Superman toys since I was a kid. Now I hold the three years record for Superman memorabilia for Guinness Book of Records 2013, 14, and 15. Some of the collectors, they collect Superman in one room. But for me, it's whole house, even bathroom, everything, even my underwear. <laughs> As of now, I have 23 surgeries and procedures to look like Superman. I have three major procedures for my abs for mesolipo, but my abs last only for six months. What I want now is to have the permanent abs implant. If the doctor can do this procedure for other people to become good looking, why the doctor cannot make this one for me to become a superhero? Hello. Hi, doctor. Sandra, how are you? Terry Dubro, nice it's to meet nice you. Hi, Dr. Hi. The first thing I think is, yes, she is Jessica Rabbit. Can you hold my carrot? Of course. Oh, wow. Size does matter. I have to take off this jacket. It's so hot. OK. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Oh, here, can you hold that? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I'm yeah. fascinated with you because you're so amazing, OK? I'm a cosmetic concoction. So you've obviously had various surgical procedures and experience with plastic surgery before, right? I would say the only thing I haven't had done is my heart. What have you had done? Facial feminization surgery. Have you had brow shaving? Yes, brow shave. Did they make an incision? They and did. Unfold the yeah, face? Yeah, they the unfolded thing, my huh? face. Yeah. I had my nose done. Yeah. I've had my lips done. I've had my cheeks done. And then I had two Adam's apple shaves. Right. I've had my breasts done, and then I had my hips done, my butt done, and then finally I had my Audi made into an innie. Yeah, no, no, oh, a, little, mean, a little lower, other. <laughs> a little lower. Right, so that Audi. Sort of, I used to be Roger. Yeah, 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 that Audi. Yeah, that I, Audi. I get you. Cassandra's really beautiful and really does actually look a lot like Jessica Rabbit. The fact that she's transgender just goes to show you how far she's come. Let me ask you a question. How much uh, do you think you've spent in total on all your surgical procedures um, up to this point? I would say we're hitting about $200,000 wow. for sure. All in. My first surgery was when I was 18. How much did you put in the first time? Eight fifty. Your in first eight, operation was 18 year old with 850 cc's in each yes. breast? Yes. Wow. Breast implants alone in an 18-year-old is pretty controversial. Putting 850 cc implants in is downright wrong. Within a year, I started to have a double bubble and bottomed out. Yeah. And the breast muscle on my side actually was lapping over. Yeah. After going so large on the first surgery, it's no surprise that Bunny developed very significant breast complications. My second surgery, one of the first things he did was close up the breast muscle on right. the side, and I got 2,000 cc's. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a second. She had a complication from putting large implants in her first operation, and then she went on to have even larger implants put in? That is so not a good idea. What were you thinking? I've always wanted the fake, unnatural looking boob look. You weren't there at 850? Sadly, no, because when they started dropping, they just continued to drop. OK. So I am still looking to go bigger to achieve that look. That's what I'm really aiming for. And do you think that'll make you more successful in the cosplay world? Definitely. I will definitely say that would help push my stuff. I specifically uh, focus my transformation in space elves. They are warriors of love and light, and they protect the Earth from evil aliens and stuff like that. They are very pale, with big eyes, small features, long white hair. It is the kind of beauty that I want to have, ethereal, 
Some years ago, I learned that you can change your eye color by laser. It was experimental, but I decided to do it anyway. I wanted to have purple eyes like elves, but I ended up dark gray and I didn't like it at all. So now I have a collection of 500 contact lens, fantastic colors like black to look like a demon or white to look like an angel. The main thing I wanted to change was my nose. When I saw the doctor for the first time, I told her that I wanted to have a nose that doesn't look human at all. A small and pointy nose. She was kind of mm, not much happy with it, but we go for it anyway. I did my nose surgery and my jaw liposuction at the same time. When I had my jaw liposuction, I wanted to fix family features that we had. We are very skinny, but we had a lot of baby fat on the neck. But sadly, the result is not the perfect small elfic face that I wanted to have. I want to see Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubrow because they are perfect to fix the things that I have done to my face. By day, I am a single mom taking care of two kids, working my nine to five and by night I'm Gia Gotham. Crazy cosplay girl. I love a double life, but we both share these big busted boobs. I just feel like these girls are not on the same page whatsoever. There's a major size difference. I need them to match. I really don't give a f when I'm Gia. I've done you know, Harley Quinn and my own take on the Joker, Pam Anderson and Scary Movie 3. I did kind of a spoof of that. Hello? You're in the house? Body modification became a thing of interest for me with just some of my idols, like, growing up. Pam Anderson and Elvira, like, I just saw that aesthetic and I was just blown away by it. Hi. Nice Hi, to Gia. Nice to meet you. How are you? Terry Dubrow, Hi. nice to meet you. Meeting Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubrow, some kind of a different level of, of likely meeting a celebrity. I'm literally gonna be in the presence of greatness today. So this is the character from Suicide Squad, yes? Mm -hmm. Are you part of the whole cosplay thing or? Definitely. Definitely. Yep. Are these tattoos or were just painted on those the leopard oh, spots? Oh, tattoos, yeah. Because where I've seen that on people is where they do body modification. They do things yes. with their ears or horns or. Are you. Oh, oh yeah, the split. Whoa. Whoa. When did you do that? Right after my son was born. I had a really high pain threshold, so it was a good time. But they, he numbed you up, though, right? No. You're kidding me. Didn't it bleed like crazy? Oh, my god. Blood was, like, filling up, like, in my throat. The tongue is a sensitive, strong muscle. And G had had her tongue sawed in half without numbing medicine. That is insane. Stick it out straight out. That's super interesting. <laughs> Sometimes people like notice it when I'm talking, especially my nine to five job, it's the most awkward thing. They'll like, do you have a sneak tongue? And then I'll stick it out at them. You have a nine to five <laughs> job? I do. I work with the public. You work with the public. I have a very normal like daytime life, yeah. like working my job nine to five and I'm a single mom to two kids. By night, the little time I have left is this.